Hey guys, welcome back to Malapi Channel. The main character of today's video is Ray Park, a martial artist and actor who has appeared in big franchises like Star Wars, G.I. Joe, and X-Men. Let's get to know more about him with us. Let's go! British actor, author, and martial artist Raymond Park was born on August 23, 1974 in Glasgow, Scotland. He's best known for playing Darth Maul in Star Wars Episode I, The Phantom Menace, and Solo, A Star Wars Story, along with motion capture performance in highly praised action movies like X-Men, G.I. Joe, and Heroes. At the age of 7 years old, Park moved with his family to London, England. He was acquainted with martial art fighting by his dad, who was an aficionado of Bruce Lee, and started preparing the conventional Chinese Northern Shaolin Kung Fu when he was 7 years of age. He added Wu Chu to his interest by the age of 14. At the point when he was 15, Park went to Malaysia to attempt to improve his abilities. He became a member of the British national wushu team, proceeded to contend in combative techniques competitions throughout the globe, including the World Wushu Championships, and won honors before directing his concentration toward acting in the late 1990s. Ray Park is a married man. He is married to his beautiful wife named Lisa, and have two children, a daughter, Sienna, and a son, Rocco. The lithe, handsome Scottish actor appeared in three action movies in the late 1990s, before audiences actually caught the glimpse of his face. An expert martial artist, Ray Park made his big screen debut as a stunt double for James Remar's character Raiden in Mortal Kombat, The Annihilation, the 1997 movie based on the popular video fighting game. Park then donned red and black face paint and horns to play the covert role of evil Darth Maul in the equally awaited Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, following that up with a return to his stuntman roots in Sleepy Hollow, both in 1999, as the double for the equiphobic Christopher Walken's Headless Horseman. Park's fourth movie role also made ease of his well-muscled physique and fighting skills. In 2000, he essayed the role of the villainous Toad, like he to the wicked mastermind Magneto in the big budget movie version of the Marvel comic X-Men. In December 2007, Park was confirmed for the role of Snake Eyes in G.I. Joe, The Rise of Copra, and the G.I. Joe Retaliation, then had a recurring role as Edgar on the TV series Heroes from 2009 to 2010. Park was also included in the motion capture team of the 2008 James Bond video game adaptation of Quantum of Solace. In 2018, he reprised his role as Ma in Solo, A Star Wars Story, and starred as Mac in the action thriller film Accident Man alongside Scott Atkins. Ray Park has been nominated for awards, including an MTV Movie Awards and a Teen Choice Award. Here are 5 Best Movies Up To Date Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace 1999 X-Men 2000 G.I. Joe The Rise of Copra 2009 G.I. Joe Retaliation 2013 Accident Man 2018 
Report's net worth as of 2021 is estimated to be between $6 million and $8 million, according to Net Worth 8. In the early 2000s, there was a talks about Iron Fist being made into a feature film. Around that time, sources began to report that Ray had been cast in their leading role. However, the project ended up being cancelled. Instead, it became a Netflix series almost two decades later. Ray is a big fan of the superior world, and he always been particularly interested in Batman. He once said, I'm a big Batman fan, to be honest. To be a part of any superior movie would really fulfill all of my childhood fantasies. If I could get beaten up by Batman and just be a part of the franchise, even getting kicked through a window would be great. Since being in good shape has been a very important part of Ray's career, it only makes sense that he prioritized living a healthy lifestyle. Ray spends a lot of time working out and he also follows a very healthy diet. Judging by some of his Instagram posts, he may also be a vegan. Ray is also a family man. When he isn't busy working, he loves spending time at home with his family. That's all for today and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment if you have any recommendation and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.